Alrighty guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to get your Twitch or YouTube chat into your VR headset in under 5 minutes. Let's do it. Alright, the first thing you got to do is pull up your Twitch chat and your Streamlabs or Stream Elements, whatever you're using. You're going to navigate to your Stream Manager. And then you're going to go over to your my chat box and then there's going to be three little dots kind of like this and it's going to say pop out but you want to pop out the one that's for the chat and then you're going to go over to stream labs like what i'm doing here or your stream elements whatever you're using and then pop that one out as well and then what that's going to do for you it's going to give you two little bars that look like this don't minimize them leave them on your desktop or you're going to regret it the next step what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your oculus mirror Dot exe. It is going to be wherever you installed your Oculus, support, diagnostics, and it's going to be right here. Oculus Mirror enables you to see and record whatever it is that you have in your headset in VR. So I like to pop that one up. Uh, as that's running, we're going to get the Oculus headset here started as well. Pop the glasses off. As Oculus pops up and in, we're going to show you a really fun way to do this. So, whoa, hello, Panasonic. TV. We are in a VR environment here and so basically you're going to right hand the right menu button is going to pop up your oculus menu. You're going to open up your desktop shortcuts here. You're going to go to Chrome and then you're going to go to Twitch chat and it's going to show you your Twitch chat right here. Now I am side gripping button that one and you can move it in and out with a thumbstick that type of thing and then you are just going to pin it into place right there. Second one, you're going to do the same thing. Open up Chrome tab, and then you're gonna get recent events. Grab that, move that out over yonder. Ah, uh, not quite that far. But put it in a, in a good place for you, and then pin it to your environment. And then all you gotta do is hit the menu button again, and they're there. Look at that. You can walk around your room, and you can do whatever. I don't know what the deal is with that TV. Do not mind what is going on with that big TV in the corner over there. I. It, it just, that, that's how I had it as a kid. <laughs> Anyways, but that's it. That's how you get your Twitch chat into VR like that, and it will stay in whatever environment you're in. And you can even bop back out of this, go into your Steam VR environment, and it will navigate those over there with. But that's it. So if that tutorial helped you guys at any point, Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know with a comment of what your guys' thoughts are on these tutorials. I'm trying to get a couple of them out each week as I have more time. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, you might also enjoy setting up your Bluetooth wireless headset with your Go XLR. So go check out this video that I put over here that teaches you guys how to put together your Bluetooth headset and your Go XLR without any extra cables, any extra software, anything like that. So stay healthy, my friends, and we'll see you in the next video.